Koulibaly is the man who killed a female police officer in Paris yesterday. Officials say that he threatened to kill his hostages at the store today if the police tried to capture the Kawachi brothers, who were holed up at a printing plant northeast of Paris. The police assault on the store came at about the same time officers were taking down the brothers. Clarissa Ward has that part of the story. After three long, tense days, the hunt for the brothers finally ended in a blaze of bullets and explosions. The two men had kept security forces at bay for more than seven hours. It started at around 9 o'clock this morning when the pair carjacked a gray Peugeot from a woman who recognized them from their wanted posters. They drove to the nearby village of Dan Martin en Goel, 28 miles north of Paris. Security forces flooded in, cutting off access to the village. Helicopters flew overhead while snipers took positions on nearby rooftops. Children were evacuated from local schools, shops were shot, and residents told to remain at home. Just eight miles away at Charles de Gaulle International Airport, two runways were temporarily shut down. At 10 a.m., a French television station called the printing office and Sharif picked up. According to the news channel, he told them that they would not kill women and children, unlike the West does. But the Kawashi brothers were unaware that an employee with the printing company was hiding in the building throughout the siege, feeding the police information. At 5 o'clock, the brothers burst out of the front door, firing their weapons. Assault police responded with bullets and grenades. Scott, security forces said that when they searched the warehouse after the raid, they did find a rocket-propelled grenade. They also said that the building was booby-trapped. Clarissa, France has called for an international security meeting this Sunday in Paris. What can you tell us about that? That's right, Scott. Attorney General Eric Holder will be flying here to meet with a coterie of some of Europe's top leaders, and they're going to be discussing two main issues. Number one, what to do with these foreign fighters returning home, and number two, what to do with the growing problem of lone wolf attacks. Foreign fighters returning home from the Middle East. Clarissa, thanks very much.